Welcome to Cricket World Television. I'm Rachel Brooks. I'm joined by John Pennington and Jim White today. And we're looking at the issue of the England squad, the squad that's been selected for the Tour to Bangladesh and the debate about the captaincy. So guys, if we can start, should Andrew Strauss be on this tour or not, Jim? Well, first of all, he should be on the tour. His job is to lead the team. He's the captain of England. Uh, it's the most important job in cricket. And uh, of course, he should be, be there. That's his job and he should be there, yeah. Agree with him completely there. I mean, you are the captain of your country, that is a huge responsibility for him not to be there, it sends out all the wrong signals for me. But what about the situation we had when Kevin Peterson stepped down, lost the captaincy, whichever way you want to look at it, there was no obvious choice immediately to replace him, there was a lot of speculation going on, at least this way we're getting Alistair Cook in as captain now, he's been vice-captain, he's got a chance to see what it's like to be captain, bit of practice against Bangladesh, not one of the toughest sides to play against in theory or on paper at least, and what about giving him an opportunity to get a bit of practice as captain? I think it, it is a good opportunity for Alistair Cook, but I think if Andrew Strauss is playing all three formats of the game, which we know he isn't, he doesn't play 2020 cricket, then there might be a case for him stepping back, but he's going to have breaks anyway, so I just think, as a captain, you should be prepared to go through everything that you ask your players to go through, and for me, I, think he, I just think he should be there as captain of his country. But Jim, we've got the issue at the moment that Strauss captains the test side. A lot of people don't think he should be in that one-day side. So then you need a one-day captain. And you've got Paul Collingwood as 2020 captain. Do we really want three different captains? I don't think we need three captains. I think uh, Andrew has got enough form and confidence to play one-day cricket. Aside from his test match, I think his ability to step up a gear, if you like. And I, I agree, I don't need to see him in the 2020 cricket team at all. And that's a completely different format of the game where all the shots that are invented, if you like, even he's trying reverse sweeps and the rest of it, which... I'm happy with him playing test cricket, stepping up a gear and playing one day cricket. For me, that's good enough. And if he does those two, then I think just a rest from 2020 would be absolutely fine. Well, the issue it's thrown up, of course, is the fact that uh, he isn't in the side. Who replaces him? Michael Carberry's been called up. About time he got a chance? Absolutely. I think he's, he is an informed batsman. I think the way he plays the game at the top of the order, um, another left-hander I know, but um, he's very aggressive and it sends out the right messages. Um, I think he'll do well at the top of the order and absolutely right, he should be given a chance. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned the Alistair Cook getting a chance just in case Strauss doesn't captain. I suppose now they're going to test Carberry, hopefully they open the batting with him. And he's there as an option if Strauss gets injured and leads the selective level, we'll be try Carberry. Is he up to the job? Is he not up to the job? You mentioned opening the batting there, though. A lot of people are thinking Jonathan Trott might opening the, open the batting with Alistair Cook. That throws up all sorts of issues. He's got practice now at number three and he's scored some runs at three. Why not put him at three? If Michael Carberry comes in at three, will he suffer the same fate as Ravi Bopara in that he's hailed as the new number three and then if he struggles at all for runs, he gets dropped? Unfortunately, it is an, uh, an England trait, isn't it, that players come in for one or two games and never, never heard of again or even seen again. It is a worry. I think um, selection will need to be very careful. And I think once they've got the people in the right places, to give them confidence is to give them three or four games, five games, and just keep patting them on the back saying, you're in for a long stint. And I think when people have the confidence, and I'm sure most of the players would say that helps them play to the best of their ability, then we'll see them really flourish and, and contribute great runs to the England cause. But John, the other issue it throws up, if Carberry scores a lot of runs and does really well on this tour, he's putting pressure on Andrew Strauss when he comes back. Certainly is, and there is a school of thought, just let's look ahead a moment to the Ashes, that you should go to Australia with three openers in your team. So you would have some potential Alistair Cook and Andrew Strauss opening, or perhaps Andrew Strauss and Michael Carberry opening, and then Alistair Cook at number three, which would, I suppose, solve the problem potentially. But I can't really fathom why Jonathan Trott is being talked of as an opener, to go back to that one, because he doesn't open for his county. No, Michael yes. Carberry does and has done so well this season. And what about the issue of James Anderson being rested as well? Not really surprised by that, but what about his place in the side? I, I think it's less of an issue. Um, a, he's not captain. Um, B, as a bowler, um, even though he's a night watching number three, he, he probably classes himself as all rounder these days. But his, his role, he does need to rest. He's a bowler uh, under a lot of pressure recently, like other bowlers are with injuries. I think for him to have a rest at a time, yes, it's a hard place to go to play in Bangladesh anyway, not exactly friendly wickets. I think this, now is the time to give him a break and I'm sure he'll come back rested and rejuvenated for the, the long summer ahead um, in England. James Anderson is in all three England teams, so I think he deserves a rest, no problem with that at all. All right, thank you very much, guys. That's the squad dealt with. Do join us later when we'll be looking at the tour of Bangladesh and which players are under pressure.